Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Tatiana, Product Marketing Manager here at Birthday Research and I market our products. So the Birthday Research team has done a lot of great work over the past few months and we've put out a lot of great content for you guys as well, but they've mostly been in written format and we know that some of you may not um, enjoy reading so much, so we're starting to put out a lot more video content and this also allows you guys, our community, to get to know us and also to understand more of what we do. So today with me, I have um, Veer and JJ who are part of the Quantum team and I will let them do their own um, self-introductions. So maybe Veer, you can go ahead and start. I'm Veer, I'm the product manager who worked on Quantum. Apart from just Quantum, I've been in the product space and especially the crypto space for the past few years, working on different projects, different tokens. Apart from my Web3 experience, I've also worked on numerous other products and verticals across different industries like marketplaces, sports media, and the public sector. Hey. So I'm JJ. I'm the lead engineer for Quantum. So I've been working mostly with DeFi chain products. So I think you have you might have used some of it, like DeFi chain light wallet, desktop app, um, DeFi scan, DeFi chain.com. Um, and prior to my experience with um, Cake, I've been working with different tech companies. So alongside JJ and the rest of our team here at Bete Research, we look to see how we can bring more utility to DeFi chain and provide more value for our community. So as you can see, um, we have a stellar team here at Birthday Research. And for all of you who don't know what Birthday Research is, it is King T5's research and development arm. And we build best-in-class blockchain uh, innovations across multiple ecosystems. So today's video is going to be about Quantum, um, a bridge developed by Birthday Research. And I shall let the guys share more about it. So maybe... You know, before we go into quantum, we can talk a little bit more about bridges itself. Um, so maybe Veer, can you share more about what bridges are? Yeah, sure. So bridges, blockchain bridges, however you want to phrase it, they're very simply what they're used for is to be able to facilitate interoperability between two blockchains. So that people can move their assets from one chain to another chain without varying too much, without having to go through too many complex processes or procedures like using exchanges, KYC processes, etc., etc. So they basically allow blockchains, which are typically siloed, to be able to communicate in a sense with each other. And I get that maybe people might not fully understand that. So to put it even more simply in a very basic analogy is think about blockchains, each blockchain as its own island. Now, every island has its own rules and regulations, which is your consensus algorithms in a sense for blockchains, its own native currency. Again, just like every blockchain has its own token. And but you can't really use those, that currency from one island in another island. So think of a bridge as a way to connect these islands to each other so that people don't have to worry about how they can maybe use certain things from island A on island B or how they can get there. Bridges facilitate all of that so that then they can just benefit from the fullest extent from, let's say, Bitcoin to Ethereum, or in this case, Ethereum to DeFi chain. Mm, I like the island analogy. It's quite a quite a cute one, quite an interesting one. Um, okay, so JJ, can you share more about, you know, what is Quantum? So Quantum in itself, it's a dApp. Um, as Veer said, it connects islands. So in this case, it connects... Um, DeFi chain and ETH and vice versa. So it's a two-way bridge, meaning you can go from DeFi chain to ETH or ETH to DeFi chain. And um, you only need to use your MetaMask wallet and whatever DeFi chain app you want to use, as long as it supports the DeFi chain network. So with Quantum Red, it makes it easy for you to go in into the DeFi chain ecosystem without the need for KYC or anything. So you just need to plug in your MetaMask wallet, approve the transaction, and then you will receive it instantly. Okay, and, and what's the purpose of it? Like, why is it so important? So if you think about it, right, we've been building, or the community has been building so much innovation for DeFi chain from the start to now. There's always, we've been pushing the boundaries every every day, every second. But the, one of the biggest challenges that we've seen is that DeFi chain is very siloed at the moment. It's very hard for, let's say, uh, the wider industry, maybe people on Ethereum, people on Bitcoin, to actually connect directly with us. And it poses a challenge to really scale 
DeFi chain to a global extent and showed the world the value that has been built on the chain so far. And we built Quantum to be that first milestone towards full interoperability for DeFi chain. Hmm, okay, that's really interesting. Can, can you share more about how it works? Okay, I think to make it easier, I'll just open up the app itself. So just go to quantumbridge.app and then you will see that this is the main application, right? So in this scenario, I'll be going from ETH to DeFi chain. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is to connect your wallet. So in this case, it will use my MetaMask wallet. So now my MetaMask wallet is connected. Um, in this scenario, I will be doing ETH to DeFi chain. So you can select the network from here. So now I'm on Ethereum. And then I can select the token that I want to bridge. So let's try ETH. Okay, so let's say I, I want to bridge 0 0.001 just for testing. And then um, I want to receive it in my DeFi chain address. And you just need to paste any DeFi chain address that supports DeFi chain. Review the transaction and then make sure that it's the correct address and the correct amount before you proceed. Confirm transfer. So confirm. And then you just need to wait for 65 confirmations before you receive it in your wallet. And then that's it. It's, that sounds really easy. Um, I know you guys also uh, launch with only a few tokens, right? Can you share what those tokens are? Yeah, sure. So we initially launched with WBTC or Wrap Bitcoin and Ethereum. And in the coming week, we also launched three new tokens, which were supported on Quantum, which was USDT, USDC. And we're also one of the first few protocols who have launched your C2. So we're really excited to provide these options to the community. Apart from these tokens, where we're always on the lookout to see which tokens the community would like to be on Quantum. So if there are any requests or any feedback, you can always get in touch with us on the Birthday Dev Twitter account. Okay. And how much does it cost for users to use uh, Quantum? So going to DeFi chain, there's no fees. It's totally free. So users can just go in, uh, I mean, pay for the gas in the Ethereum network. But going into DeFi chain, there's no fee at all. So we want people coming into DeFi chain. Okay, that's really that's really good, especially because you know there might be some um, friction for those people who want to, and you know the the fact that we put in extra cost um, that might actually deter them from using it. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about the questions from the community. Um, so one of the first questions that we received was, you know, what is the incentive? Why would somebody want to bridge um, their assets or why would somebody want to use Quantum? In terms of benefiting the community, uh, like, like we were discussing previously, this is that first major step towards full interoperability for DeFi chain, which for the community perspective, they don't now actually want to, let's say, get into the DeFi chain ecosystem, use the tokens. You don't have to worry about going through maybe centralized platforms, going through KYC, you can actually get in in just a matter of minutes. All you need is a little bit of Ethereum and across all of those ERC-20 tokens, and you can immediately enter the DToken ecosystem. So it's a huge step towards connecting DeFi chain with one of the biggest major blockchains out there. Yep. And for me, I've been with the DeFi chain ecosystem for, I would say, more than two years or in and I know that a lot of pain points from the users are it's hard to get into DeFi chain. So this one will give another option for them to, to, to be able to start or invest in the De DeFi chain ecosystem. Right. And, and do you think the majority um, underestimates the potential that Quantum can bring to the ecosystem? I think like there's definitely, especially on the Ethereum side, that people aren't fully aware of the, the value and the utility on the DeFi chain ecosystem. For instance, the negative interest rates that, that are still available across our decks, which are fully transparent, full, and are very consistently stable as compared to other places out there. It's something that people can leverage on to a great extent. And from people on the Ethereum side, they're now able to actually enter this ecosystem, be able to go to our decks, create a vault, lock in their tokens, and earn these returns in just a matter of minutes. And compared to the other yield rates out there, the, this is probably one of the best options. So it, it, it's a very big step in, in providing that, that avenue, like JJ said, that outlet for people to enter very easily. 
I know we spoke a little bit about users um, entering the bridge. And in order to do that, there needs to be liquidity on it, right? So um, do you mind sharing where the initial liquidity of quantum, like where does it come from? Yeah, so when it comes to the initial liquidity, so given the importance and potential uh, impact of quantum for the ecosystem, uh, Cake DeFi has actually generously agreed to provide that initial liquidity for quantum. And someone also asked if there was going to be an external audit done on quantum. Is there going to be one, you know, who is doing it? Yes, there is one and it's actually been performed by Certic, a very reputed player in the security and audit space in the crypto ecosystem. They've done our audit and we've passed and we have actually published their report both on the quantum web app and it's also available for anyone to access in our repo too. So it's very transparent, the entire process. Oh, that's really good because, you know, there are so many concerns um, in general about bridges. So it's great that we're doing this external audit. Maybe let's go into the future of quantum. What does that look like? It's nice. <laughs> okay, I think for, for quantum, right? Uh, right now, we already launched a great product and any um, improvements that we have in the future, we will try to do our best. And if you have any ideas, especially for the community, please do reach out, post it on our GitHub channel, create an issue, or reach out with from our knowledge base. Yes. Or you can also reach out to us on Twitter at birthday Death. So I'm sure the community must be curious about how to get started. So maybe JJ, you can walk us through that. Okay, so just go to Quantum Bridge that app. There's a user guide there, so it can help you on getting started, but you just need to have your MetaMask wallet, just like uh, any other dApps and any DeFi chain wallet that supports DeFi chain network. So DeFi chain light wallet, DFX, whatever, Jelly wallet, and that's it. Okay, now for the very last question to do with Quantum. I heard there's something special to celebrate the launch. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Ooh, you have good sources. <laughs> So we, we will be having a, a special campaign to celebrate the launch of Quantum, but I'm not going to share too many details as of yet. Let's, we're still trying to play our cards close to our chest and keep it a bit of a mystery. But all I can say is that for all users watching this, make sure that you keep doing those transactions from Ethereum into DeFi chain. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Okay, sounds uh, sounds very exciting. Before we end the video, um, you know, I wanted to go more into your personal experiences. Uh, maybe you could share a little bit about, you know, how this whole experience was for you um, in terms of uh, building quantum. I think for me, it's very exciting because I think it's the first app that we have released that supports both networks, meaning ETH and DeFi chain. So it's a very new area for us and very new domain and it's very exciting because there's a lot of possibilities that can happen. And I believe we've been doing it um, a very good job on it. Uh, we have heard your feedbacks and it's really encouraging, especially for um, us to know that people are actually using it. And of course, if ever we have new products in the future, if you want to help out on testing, please let us know. So you can reach out on Telegram, GitHub. I, I think the experiences is is pretty similar, especially like 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 a product like Quantum, which like JJ said, right? There's so many different moving parts. There's the Ethereum side of things, the DeFi chain side of things, trying to ensure that these two can, I would say, talk to each other in a very secure way with, like he had mentioned, the ongoing probably exploits that have happened in the past year for Bridges, building something that clearly has value and impact for the community, but also trying to figure out the best way to do that. and. Apart from JJ and myself, there's a whole army that's been working on it and across birthday research and, you know, the, from the beginning, just to see like the idea that we first had all the way to now to actually seeing where quantum is and how the community has been reciprocating the like positive feelings towards it. I think it's been, it's been a great experience for all of us on it. I guess we've come to the end of our uh, video. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. For more information on other products at Birthday Research, make sure to follow our Twitter account at Birthday Dev or follow our GitHub for um, our latest projects. So see you next time. Bye!